Hi everyone, welcome to Connect IT Solution. Today, I will share some amazing tips and tricks for Windows 11 that will make your experience smoother and more productive. Let's get started. Windows 11 introduced Snip Layout, making multiple tasks a breeze. Hover over the maximum button on any Windows to access the layout option. Select your preferred layout and arrange your Windows as possible. So just hover over it and you can just set it. So I want this file explorer to go the other side. And I can open a different window too on the other side. Which let's try opening it. Alright guys, so this is how the hover works. <coughs> just hover over the, max, the maximum button and let's select the option. So this is how it looks like. So you can have multiple tags, so you can just perform multiple tags on the same windows and everything is going to run smooth. Alright, so we have some keyboard shortcuts. Here are some cool shortcuts you can use. So Windows plus W, there's a the width, and the width that we have. So let's for for the snap layout, you can let's take a simple open this explore. We can use Windows plus Z. Open the maximum button. Then we can select where we'll place this file. We have the Windows plus V, Windows plus V, which gives us the clipboard history to access. Try it. This has the clipboard history. Now I have not saved any data. I'm not copying anything. That's why. When I copy anything, let's. I open my clipboard history. Do not get over there. Something I just copy. I just use it anywhere I like it. So, add on our list. Customize the start menu. Okay. I don't like how your start menu looks. Right click the start button. So right click. Go to settings. Settings. Personalization. So I move to personalization. So when we get to personalize personalization, we move to the start. And customize the layout. We can add or remove in the apps easily. And let's take maybe more pins. More pins. Let's have a look at it. So, pinned apps, only pinned apps are over here. No recommendations. This other one also works. These are default. That's how the default works. Yeah. So, fourth on our list is a dark mode and personalization. Well, Someone like me, I usually use the dark mode. So dark mode. Yeah, I like the dark mode. So let's move to the same personalization. So settings. Move to settings. Look for personalization. Colors. Dark mode. Let's change to light mode and check how the windows. So this is how the light mode also works. On my PS, but I don't prefer the light mode. Let's use the light mode for today. Fit. So you can change the colors manually, automatically, it can just be changed for you. So we have a lot of colors over here. Yeah. You can just go through them. That's nice, fun playing with it. So fit on our list is visual desktop. 
create a manage multiple desktop using the windows plus tab so windows plus tab yeah, so you can just if you, you maybe you can even change your desktop you have desktop one and desktop two so you have desktop two over here and it makes you more productive because you can just be working on the desktop one and move to desktop two and doing a different project over here also i go to desktop three also be doing a different project all over there And it's fun using search. It's organized web personal personal or space space separately. Alright, so we've linked the wiki here, which is the Windows Pass W. Windows Pass W. We have which panel where we have an app of windows. So it gives you guarantees and a whole so list seven on our list is a file explorer tab. File explorer. So let's look in our file explorer. Get the multiple tabs. We're going to choose our file explorer. Since I like using the dark mode, I just change to light mode so it's like I'm just moving slow on my machine. I'll, I'll fix it up. So, when you let me introduce tabs in File Explorer, just like a web browser. So how it works? If you open our File Explorer, you will notice this plus symbol over here. It says what? Add new tab. So we can click on it. We can open anything different. So we can just be open and open like how the web looks like. Yeah. Uh, this you can switch between the tabs without opening multiple file explorer windows so this has some of its benefits it reduces desktop clots it makes multiple tags between folders easily it on our list is a focus session focus session is a productive tool integrated into the clock app how to use it open the clock app and go to the focus session tab well, let's not worry ourselves. To make it easy, let's search for focus. We're gonna have a pop up and ask them in. To set a timer for your work session, you can also integrate maybe music, yeah, Spotify to listen to minimum motivation songs. I don't like motivation songs. Benefits. It helps you stay focused by minimizing distraction, encourage breaks to avoid burnout. So you can start the time focus. Default is 30 minutes. You can change it. So this is what it does for you. So it shows the timer in clock, hide wage bars, high flash. Yeah, turn on, do not disturb. A minimum, a minimum. Nine on our list is battery saving mode. Battery saving mode is perfect for laptops when you are running low on power. How to enable it? Go to settings. So we are already on settings. Go to settings. Move to system. Power and battery. Yeah, as you can see over here. Power and battery. So you can enable the battery saving manually or automatically. You just doing the magic. So that's a power saving mode as an energy saver. When you turn it on, so it's energy saving on automatically. You know, side. You can just turn. It's gonna work perfectly for you. So when you just select the preferred percentage you want and just get to that side, these are some of the fit the functions is gonna perform for you. It's lower screen brightness when using energy saving 
Nah, it's some of it's gonna it's limited background activity to extend battery life, reduce screen brightness to save energy. So then on our list is a dynamic refresh rate. Dynamic refresh rates adjust your screen refresh rate based on what you are doing. How to enable it? Let's go to settings, system, display, move to advanced display. So there's a but the reason why mine is not showing is because say it gives a notification dynamic dynamic refresh rates isn't supported. That means my machine is not supported. And I can make it supported because the DRR it uses a, a power above 120 hertz and I'm currently using 60 hertz. So unless I change it, I change it to that side and or I, I can upgrade it. So in our next video, I'll just show you how to upgrade your DRR. Then you can also use the DRR settings. Well, I hope you find this video helpful. Just remember to like, subscribe and share to our channel for more tips. So this is for today, but those 11 tips and tricks. I hope you find this helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tips. See you in the